Um, you do have on the doors, which open all the way, so you can install those one steps. You do have the, uh, the latch lock and you do have a deadbolt, so that's nice. The window is, all the windows are tinted and the door window also has a um, little uh, pull down screen so that you can have more privacy. And as you can see here, it does everything screen. You can open this, you know, to pass through stuff or whatever. Um, so this is nice. I like this little setup here. You can see my Porg here from Star Wars. And then this here, you just push down on it to open and close the door. Or you can open that, whatever you want to do. It's your world. As you come in, you can see you have the nice hardwood floors, the furnace vents. It's a leather at style couch. It's not real leather, but uh, I prefer it to be like this because it's um, easy to take care of and I don't have to worry about you know, stuff getting messed up. Uh, right now the AC is not on, so it's pretty quiet in here. But as you can see, this couch here actually does fold down into a bed. I won't do that right now because I'm hot, but um, <clears throat> I probably will post more videos of the Mini. We're actually going to call it the Smurfette or the Papa Smurf because of its blue color. So as we go on, you can see you can have you have little shelves here too if you want to put little things like this, you know, whatever. You have you know storage up here. You can put lots of stuff. I don't even know what's in that box. And then you come over here. You do have a plug. They're all GFCI protected outlets. You do have two USB ports there too, so you can charge your stuff up. And we just got a little tray there for whatever. And again, this full, this couch does fold down. Another nice thing is here you have you have storage here, you know, for your uh, DVDs or whatever if you want. You have that nice side table. There's another cool thing here is that the couch has storage underneath as well, so you can put whatever you want under here. You do have dogs, so. The entertainment center with the uh, the fire extinguisher and uh, this thing here is the uh, carbon monoxide detector and then in here you just have your fuses and stuff more storage underneath here so right now we got some dog stuff in there and you have your TV I think it's like a 32 inch or 40 inch something like that and this is your all-in-one unit, the DVD player, CD player, does Bluetooth, all that stuff. And um, also uh, you have indoor speakers, outside speakers, all that stuff like that. So you know, you put it on and then this, you know, the sound comes on. So, you know, whatever you want. So, and you got more, uh, oh, I, thought I was about to say more storage, but this is where the, the control panel is. So you see, I, I don't understand why they did it like this because you got to turn the awning power on and then you can go in and out with the awning and you turn it back off. Same thing with the slide. But since you have to open this door anyways, it's kind of like a double redundancy that you have to turn it on and then push the button, but whatever. And here you have the outdoor lights and there's a, the main light inside. Like, so when you come in, you can, uh, you know, turn it on. So like coming in with groceries or whatever, you could just reach over, turn it on real quick. Here you have your water pump. If you got water in your fresh water tank, you have your water heater um, for LP for the gas, or you have the electric. I just have the electric on right now. And then this will tell you if anything's going on with the pump or anything fault. It tells you your battery level if you push that in, how much fresh water I have, which I have no fresh water in there. My black tank is two thirds full. My gray tank is a third full, so. Well, tell me what's going on there. And then as we go around, you have a nice dinette. This also turns into a bed. This is the slide part right here. It turns into a bed. You just take the top off, the poles out, and then you put the table back down, and then that's a bed right there. Move the cushions around. You're good to go. Got a small, um, here's the kitchen area. And you do have a microwave. And a fan. And then you have your small uh, stove. We got a little note for us to open the vent when we're cooking. So, you know, three burner gas stove. Then you also have a uh, little 
little baking stove here if you want. So that one you have to manually light the pilot light and all that. A lot of them are like that though. Um, you have a Dometic fridge. It's a pretty nice size fridge, you know. Don't have much in it right now, but you know. Uh, it's pretty cold. You just adjust this little switch here. I have it all the way up because I like my fridge to be like ice cold. And then you have a freezer. See, you have a freezer here. And then um, <clears throat> you can run this off of, you have your on and off button, but you can run it off of gas or electric. So right now it's on electric, it's on auto. You know, it's, it's good to go. You do have your AC vents all over. So when your AC is running, you can point these nice, nice at you right on the couch or whatever, it's indoor speakers. Over here behind the dinette, you have more storage. So we got, you know, some stuff in there. And they do have these hangers. The nice, you can put two hangers per, you know, and they keep them in place. So they're not flying all over the place if it was just a regular hanging pole. And here you do have more pantry space for your Cocoa Puffs. And um, down below you have more space too. So back to the kitchen, you do, it does come with these cutting boards and you can see, um, you know, we put uh, things on here in the sink and stuff like that. You do have a nice little kind of prep space over here, a little backsplash area, which I might, because this is just black, I might put some tile on that, you know, might be spruced it up a little bit. And then up uh, here you have like a spice rack, but we're kind of just using it for cups. And then you got more storage in here. Microwave, uh, more storage down here, of course. And these are all hard open closed, so they're not flying all over the place type deals. Okay, nice uh, stainless steel faucet and double stainless steel sink. And then here are your controls for your um, AC and furnace. And then this is obviously a door, but you open this and then you come into the bathroom. So the bat, so the shower and the bathroom has a nice skylight, and uh, I think I'm gonna up upgrade this to the Oxygenics um, shower head so that I could have uh, you know use less water, and um, sit right there. We have toilet paper in the shower right now, and then I, uh, you have a little fan here you can turn on and off. I think I'm gonna eventually get the. Uh, the cover so that I can have this open when it's raining you know you put the, a bigger cover on top and you open and close this and you can keep it open um, you do have a porcelain toilet the lid is plastic but the toilet the toilet itself is porcelain um, and it's just a push push pedal there uh, trying to think of what else we got here so we close the door we've got more uh, space here and the nice thing about this is you can someone can be sleeping in the bedroom and you know, watching TV or whatever out here, and you can close the door and you can have, you know, nice peace and quiet or privacy or go to separate rooms or whatever. Um, you have more storage in here. Pretty big storage and another coat, you know, or another rack for hanging clothes and more down here, more in here. I mean, you get the idea, right? More storage, you get your medicine cabinet there. Nice stainless steel. You do have more GFCI outlets. Here, a little light switch for this one. Um, I'm trying to think what else we got in the bathroom. Anything special here? Mm -hmm. No, not really. Um, oh, what's cool too is that you can close this door here. And then this door slides close too. So that if someone wants to use the bathroom in private, you know, from the bedroom and everything, they can close this door to take a shower or whatever they want to do. Um, and then this one just kind of connects back up here like this to keep it open. Then you have your second entry exit. Open windows. Nice thing about this is you do have the um, next to the bed, which does fold up for storage. So you can lift this up. Oh, snap. Those springs look, work good. It scared me. <laughs> they came up really quick. But uh, kind of hard to push down a little bit. I just don't want to slam it, you know. Um... So you got storage under the bed. You got our dog bed here. And there's your emergency exit. And then you have you have pretty deep closets here. If you open this, you have you know nice deep closets for storage and stuff. And 
uh, both sides do have an outlet. So if you have a CPAP machine or whatever, you can nice little shelf there, put it on um, and plug in stuff here. I don't know why this side also has a USB. Why they didn't put the USB on both sides, but um, I don't know. You know, if you want to charge your phone, plus you have a couple things to plug in, you can. But the other side cannot. I don't. I don't get that. But another closet here. Maybe there's some more storage space up here. You know, keep sliders or whatever. And um, the bed does have a nice headboard. This is the front of the unit right here. So that's where the cap is. And um, that's pretty much it. This is the tour of the of the Papa Smurf slash mini Smurfette. Uh, I wanted to show you the shower door. This is kind of like one of those, I don't know. I don't want to say like super cheap, but I wish it was like a, like a glass or, you know, maybe a hard plastic slider. I'm not a big fan of, of this like jankiness, but it, it slides good, you know, and it works. So I guess, you know, the lighter, the better. I don't know. Um, but that is the tour of the Mini 2606RL 2019 version. I hope you enjoyed it.